In this class, we are going to learn how to create, deploy, invoke Oracle Cloud functions in few minutes that is by making use of the strengths of both Oracle Cloud Shell and the Code Editor. So this Cloud Shell and Editor are having their own strengths and the weaknesses. So Cloud Shell is just a terminal on your Oracle Cloud console. Using the Cloud Shell, we will be able to create, modify, deploy everything we can do basically. But while modifying the code files that is py file, yaml file in the case of Python runtime, so it will be very difficult for some of the folks. So in that case, what we can do is for generating the boilerplate code and deploying in working purpose, we will be using the Cloud Shell. As the code editor comes with the inbuilt VS code installed on this Oracle Cloud, we can make use of its strength in order to modify the files of the function. Now let's see how to do this practically and we can work with the functions in couple of minutes right from scratch that is by creating the function and to the deployment and invocation. Now I will open the Cloud Shell over here. My Cloud Shell has opened up. Now I will be creating the functions code that is by using the Python runtime and this is the name of my functions code. So it has created the files. Let me just get into this folder and check out the files that is YAML file, Python and the requirements.txt file. Right now I am here in this folder that is home, my username and the functions and the hello world. So this is my path. Now it has generated this functions files that is the py file, yaml file and the requirement.txt. In detail, we had studied all those things. What does yaml do? What does this requirement.txt file stands for? And what is the use of this Python in our course? You can check out our entire course on the functions. That is, we have covered by using this Python. Now, in order to modify this functions file, what we can do is we can make use of this code editor. So I will just drag this little bit over here. So once the code editor opens up, we have to click on the file and click on open. From the explorer, you have to expand the functions or whatever is your folder structure. In my case, my hello world is within this functions folder. I will select this hello world, click on open. So our folder will be open within this VS code. It will take a couple of seconds. So once the code editor loads, expand the hello world, click on the file which you want to modify. In my case, I want to modify this functions.py file. Click on this. So for demonstration purpose, in order to show you how we can make use of code editor in order to modify this functions code, I will just modify the message over here. Instead of hello, just I will type over here, hello, have a nice day. That's it. Then we have to save whatever changes we have done. Next, the job of the code editor is just for modifying purpose. Suppose if you don't want to make use of this plugin, that is OCI plugin, that is to manage everything for the functions. So basically the developers will face difficulty while modifying the code over here if you are having complex functions to write which will have n number of libraries imported or n number of python functions or lengthy script over here written in order to do the task then this code editor will be very useful so this code editor's task is done next we have to deploy the functions code i will deploy this functions code to one of the applications click on enter so this has successfully deployed my functions code i will just clear the logs now next step is we have to invoke the function and see whether it has deployed the functions code successfully or not. For that I will use this command fn invoke app and the hello. Sorry our functions name is different hello and the world click on enter. So first time when you invoke any new functions it will take some time. So here we have modified the message that is have a nice day as you can see over here with the help of code editor same has been displayed over here. So like this, we can make use of the strengths of both code editor and the cloud shell and we can modify our functions code. We can deploy our functions code. We can create the functions code in few minutes or seconds. That is just with the help of browser.